Lucius Quincius Cincinnatus. Cincinnatus was born and raised in the extremely poor Quincy family. He lived this poor lifestyle up until he entered the Roman government, in which he became a very illustrious Roman. At the time when Cincinnatus entered the Roman government, the Roman Empire was in destruction and was about to fall to the Equines. Rome had to find someone who was able to pull Rome out of the hole that they were stuck in. When Cincinnati was working on his farm, a messenger appeared and told Cincinnati about the position that he had been offered. Instantly, he rounded up his troops and prepared them for battle. With this new position, Cincinnati had created the new governmental position of dictator of Rome. Cincinnati knew that the Equines would not be easy to beat. So instead, he had to devise a clever plan that would take out the Equines. This new plan would be to dig a trench around the camp so the Equines would be trapped. When the Equines woke up, they realized that they were trapped and immediately surrendered. This quote describes the Equines' experience. And in the morning, the Equines saw that there was no escape for they were hemmed in by a ditch in a palisade and prayed for mercy. Then Cincinnatus answered that they must deliver over him, over to him Gracchus and their other chiefs bound, and yield up all their go- goods, even their arms and cloaks. And he set up two spears and bound by a third across them at the top and made the Equines pass beneath the yoke and sent them full away of his chain. After only being dictated for 16 days, Cincinnati resigned and went back to work on his farm. This went on to influence President George Washington. Washington idolized the principle created by Cincinnati, which said that once the job is done, there is no need for you to stay in power of a country. He used this idea when he resigned as president after winning the Revolutionary War. Then, after winning the Revolutionary War, he went back to his farm and worked, just like Cincinnati did. Cincinnati's philosophy went on to create the idea of term limits in the United States government. And after creating the term limits, it slowly moved down in the chain of uh, the U.S. government. Later in his life, Cincinnati became dictator again when he was 8 years old and lived to be 90 years old.